Hey guys, it's Aaron over BHA here bringing you a new video. So I was looking through all of my videos on YouTube trying to find out. I thought I already had done a video on Land Nouncer, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So uh thought I would go ahead and put one together. If you guys are using uh, Android devices like ta uh, tablets and such for uh, especially for like touch panels in your house, Land Nouncer is great. You can use Home Assistant to send alerts and notifications to that device. Very cool. Pretty lightweight, easy to set up. It's a free app that you install on your Android device. So definitely worth checking it out. Uh, so like I said, there is already a notify component in Home Assistant for Land Announcer. Uh, so basically, once you install the app on your Android device, we'll add that component into Home Assistant, and then we should be good to go. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, we're basically going to install Land Announcer on our tablet. Uh, once that is done, we are ready to uh, basically configure Land Announcer. There's not a lot that has to be done, but we'll open up the app and just take a look at the settings. Once that's done, then we are ready to add our Notify component for Land Announcer in Home Assistant. Then we're going to create a test script uh, just to show you how it works. And then lastly, of course, we're going to see it in action. So let's get started. All right, so for starters, basically you're gonna go into the Google Play Store or whatever app store you have on your Android device and do a search for Land Announcer. It should come right up. It's made by Key Bounce, uh, so um, just make sure you grab the right one. It's the only one that comes up on the list, so you should be good. Install that app. Once you got it installed, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so as far as configuration goes for Land Announcer, there's not a whole lot that you really do. We'll open up the app here. By default, it should basically uh, be running whenever you uh, install it. So as you can see at the top, it shows that the Start Listener button is grayed out, which means it's already running. The default port, of course, is 1035. You can change that if you want. I'm leaving it as the default. And then, of course, if you don't know the IP address of your tablet, here it should be listed. So just make sure that you make note of that because you'll need that for your Home Assistant configuration. Once all that's in place, we're ready to go. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so now we are ready to add our uh, new Land Announcer Notify component into Home Assistant. So I'm gonna edit my notify.yaml file where all my notify components are. Find an open spot down here at the bottom. Now for this one, the platform of course is Land Announcer. Uh, I'm gonna give mine a name of Office Land Announcer because that's where my uh, where this tablet is used kind of for testing and such. And then lastly, the host. This is the IP address of that tablet. So mine was 10.10.10.35. If you were using an alternate port, you would also list that here. Since I'm using the default, I don't need them to list that out. We'll go ahead and save this. And we are ready to move on to the next step. All right, so now we're gonna create a test script uh, that we'll be able to use to test this notify component and kind of show you that it works. So I'm going to edit uh, my test.yaml file, which is where all my uh, testing scripts are. Find an open spot down here at the bottom. For this, I'm just going to call the script test land announcer. Uh, alias, we'll say land announcer test. Now for the service, it'll be notify.app. 
office underscore lane announcer because that's the name of that component that we just created. Under data, the message, you can say whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to say alert. This is a test message. Once you have everything in there, let's go ahead and save it. And we're basically going to jump over to Home Assistant uh, and restart just to make sure that we pull in uh, everything that we just added. So we'll go to uh, General and check config. Everything looks good. So let's go ahead and restart. Give that a few minutes to come back up. Once it does, we'll move over to that last step. All right, so this is the tablet that I use in my office for testing and whatnot. I have Home Assistant pulled up on the tablet and there on my uh, test page, that's where I have the land announcer test script added. And as you can see there, we activated that script. Alert, this is a test message and bam it immediately played alert this is a test message just as we created we'll do it one more time alert this is a test message i mean almost instantaneous i'm amazed at how quick the response time is on that to be honest with you very cool now you'll be able to use that with automations and whatnot uh, if you want to set up some sort of notification uh going to your various touch panels and whatnot very cool Definitely something to look at. Like I said, if you're using uh, Android devices as touch panels in your house, uh, I think it's a pretty cool app. Works great with Home Assistant. So let's do uh, a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So again, we uh, started out by just installing the app uh, on our tablet. Once we did that, we uh, checked out the land announcer configuration inside the app. Uh, once that was done, we added our uh, component into Home Assistant uh, for the LAN announcer notify component. Uh, after that, we created a test script to test with. And then lastly, of course, we just checked it out in action. That's the end of the video, guys. Very quick and easy. This is probably one of the shortest videos I've done. Very simple setup. You can have multiple instances of land announcer running uh, you know, on various devices, and then you'll just add a, a component for each one in your uh, notified at YAML file. And then you can, of course, use automations to send to all those whenever you need to. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.